six, seven, eight K, and eventually you hit ten K, you've got ultimate freedom. You can live reasonably anywhere you want to. You become a slave again, which is so weird because you're you're a slave of the Rolex. That's such a good question. So, what what are things that I didn't really prepare for? Extra responsibilities and and maybe some problems and struggles that comes with wealth. So everyone watching this right now who expects to become wealthy and successful, there's a lot of things that you're not told about because in, in a quick like clickbaity YouTube video, you know, you're just hyped up. Oh yeah, you know, make money and you can travel around the world and yeah, awesome money. Money's awesome, man. But the pursuit of money can actually make you really weak. It really can mess up your life. I'd say the one that comes to mind right now is what I described in that video on my channel, the mistake that I made at 1 million subs. What happened was I I got to like a million subscribers and suddenly wanting to like scale up success more and get more money, suddenly it made me live like a life that was worse for me, a life that had less freedom. So let me describe a story for you, right? Imagine right now, there's 38 people in this call, probably 15 of them really wanna be YouTubers. This is what's gonna happen, you get to you know, the first few hundred subscribers and it's really wholesome. You're really trying to get, you know, every new subscriber is awesome. Okay, sweet. Then you get to a thousand subscribers, okay, huge milestone. We're celebrating, it's awesome, sweet. You know, it feels good. You've been monetized, you have a look. Oh, sweet, I made $1.61 yesterday. Like, amazing, guys, that's sweet. And, you know, it's all positive. And you start scaling it up. Let's say you've been doing really good on YouTube. You've been watching the, the YouTube courses that I've put up there as well. And suddenly you're on 2,000 subscribers, 3,000 subscribers. You release a product, okay? 4,000 subscribers, 5,000 subscribers. Now you're making real money. You're making three, four, five, six, seven thousand a month. This is dream life. This is amazing. This is the money that you've always wanted. Suddenly you're one of the highest status people in your little circle of, you know, the gym that you go to. You're probably one of the biggest earners in there. And if anyone didn't know, like, your happiness in terms of wealth is only ever correlated against the people that you're nearby in terms of being better than them. So it's 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 all it's not about how much money you make. It's just how much better and how much more you make next to, compared to the people who are next to you. It's all relative in that sense. So you're feeling awesome. Of all your friends, you're making the most money. You're making more money than your father. You're making more money than anyone in the gym right now. So it's amazing time. You're making five, six, seven, eight k, and eventually you hit ten k. You've got ultimate freedom. You can live reasonably anywhere you want to. You can travel to any country, no problem. You're making it probably online. So life is just purely positive right now. You've got total freedom. You make 120K a year. Amazing. This is the life that you've always wanted. And then you think to yourself, hmm, you know, getting to 500,000 subscribers might be a great idea. Getting to 1 million subscribers might be. And it is a good idea to keep, you know, being ambitious. But then what happens suddenly you stop doing it for the life quality increase because you're as free as you possibly can be at this moment. No one controls you. You're low key enough to not be famous. You have none of the downsides of making money. You don't have complex tax. You probably have one employee. You've actually got as you've maximized how free you could be. Now that's all that's really going to happen from scaling up your wealth and your money is losing freedom. You want to get to 500k subs or 1 million subs? You want to make 50,000 a month? Well, suddenly you're hiring a bunch more employees and you've got to like deal with that instead of the work task that you really liked. Suddenly you've got to like make this new product that, you know, is pretty exciting and you make this high ticket group and suddenly you have to start spending time doing that instead of the thing that you really wanted to do. You were free just a few weeks ago and now you're actually, you're not free even though you make so much more money. You've become a slave again which is so weird because you're you're a slave with a rolex and now you're making so much money so you, of course you're going to go to dubai because everyone goes to dubai don't they zero percent tax that's awesome man so you go to dubai you pay zero percent tax you're like yeah yeah this is the life yeah look at me i've got my rolex i'm in dubai this is what everyone said success looks like i don't like it here it's there's pollution everywhere it hurts to breathe sometimes it's unhealthy i don't like the people here it's, it's a lot more degenerate than I was ever told is a Muslim uh, city in a country, but it's, it's not what it's all cracked up to be. But you know, 0% uh, tax, yeah, I'll save more money. I'll, I'll, I'll save the money that I didn't really need 
just because you know your money's really important money is is important someone told me that once i never really asked about it myself but someone told me money's important so i believe it is zero percent tax is nice can't go back to my home country can't stay there for longer than 90 days a year got to be in dubai three to six months a year don't like living here i'm trading 50 i'm getting zero percent tax but i'm trading 50 percent of my year for it Suddenly you find yourself living somewhere that you didn't want to be, surrounded by people that you don't even like, doing things that you don't even like, in a country you don't want to be. You can't even go to the country that you, like, you can't even live at the country that is your home anymore. <laughs> and the money you're making, the rent's really expensive in Dubai, and, you know, you, the, the Rolex and, you know, the $100 dinner, dinners and stuff. Suddenly it's like, your life didn't actually improve from making 10k it actually went down significantly at 10k a month you have no chains left on you no chains there's literally no nothing constraining you you are free to go to pretty much any country to travel to do anything and more than that in general starts to add constraints to your life now you have to be in this country. You've got this new residency that you've got to go. Oh, I've got to go fly to Switzerland again because my bank's there. I have to go there once every three three months. And suddenly it's like you're you're a slave who flies business class. And it sound that sounds really nice. Like who here would would love to fly business class? It's really nice. The, the seats go all the way back. There's ten attendants for like the twelve new people who are there instead of like the five attendants for the hundred in the peasant peasant uh, class. Oh yeah, business class is nice, guys. You, you go once, it's this novel feeling, and then you start just getting acclimatized to it. It's just four times more expensive. And either way, you're still taking a flight that you didn't want. Either way, it's like you still get that weird, like, dry throat, bad breath, you know, after a long flight. And you start to realize that all these things that you've wanted were just a simple distraction from the thing that gave you the most joy in life, which was literally just the simple pleasures of working really hard on something that puts you in a flow state, being surrounded by your family and friends in an environment that you actually like. You got to maximize that lifestyle at 10K a month. But with the pursuit of more, you start to like make decisions which aren't even good for your life because you're looking at life in a binary explanation. You're looking at life as a, as a, um, there's one metric of success, which is just money. And you start to forget, well, there's other metrics, which is, are you working on the thing that you like? Are you in the country that you like? Do you have to go anywhere you don't want to? This for me is a huge one. I, I hate needing to like get ready, get changed, and go somewhere that I don't actually want to. I hate doing that. You know, you've got to go to this dentist appointment. You've got to go to this and this. I, I've always hated doing that. Now imagine that this is a macro thing of like, oh, got to fly to Dubai again. I don't want to go, but I've got to go stay in there for three months. Three months of the year. You imagine going to literally you being forced to live there because you've got all the banks there and 0% tax and stuff. So I'd say this is one of the most recent issues with with making wealth, like the problems that arise from it, is that very quickly being focused on money can lead you into building a life for yourself where you actually sacrifice the thing that money was for, which is freedom. This was the first major one. No, what do you think about that? Fantastic question. So... That what I've realized from this concept that I went through and also what I taught you, so I, anyone wasn't there, I taught Santi that we should actually value active income more. Like, you know, these days, how cool does passive income sound? Everyone's searching up for passive income on YouTube. I actually think active income is cooler because you make 10 times more money when you make it actively. And active income is just seen as like, ah, oh, sad, oh, you've got to make it passively and everything. And I made passive income for a while, you did as well. And you just get bored with life. It's like you just coast along. Like, who wants to just coast along? It's like building muscle and then just kind of maintaining it and never trying to grow again. Nope. You maintain it with like 10 minutes a week of per, per exercise. It's just boring. It makes you lose love of, of the world. It makes you like not need to wake up early anymore. And a man loses his, like, his like spiritual, psychological, sexual, physical energy when you don't need to work. So I didn't like that life. You didn't seem to like prefer that either. How do you link this together? 